Welcome to Comfort Heaven number two. Um, let me apologize to y'all for the last videos that I just did. My prep show and my tribute to my father. I'm emotionally, like, damaged at this moment. So, um, I'm not going to do any more videos. I'm also letting you guys know it's a possibility, again, like I said in my prep show, that I may not get to film my crow stuff tomorrow. And if I'm lucky, I'll get to film it this weekend. And if not, the 31st is on a Wednesday. So I'm hoping that I can um, find my trench coat and some other stuff tomorrow after I take this computer here, in which I'm filming the show on, to Best Buy so they can check it out and see why I can't upload my um, my um, Spider, Scarlet Spider fan film footage to the hard drive. Now, I don't know why it won't do it. The thing said that it was Mac compatible. And it's like the second one because the first one I took back because it wasn't Mac compatible. And then I got this one. It was Mac compatible. And I'm pretty sure I probably got the damn thing from Walmart and not Best Buy. But it really wouldn't matter where it goes because all hard drives should be compatible with computers. And mine specifically, this is not a FireWire computer. And I don't want to have to go back to the FireWire computer unless someone can tell me how to hook my old Mac to this Mac and record it on the old Mac and transfer it to this Mac, but this Mac won't let me do that from hard drive to hard drive. I don't know what the problem is. I'm not a computer genius. I fucked up making this Gatorade exceptionally cold. So, I'm apologizing because, you know, I came down here with the expectation to cut loose and get down and do a tribute to my dad. However, after talking and doing a small tribute, my emotions has just made my body not feel anything. So I don't know how to explain it to you other than I'm just going to apologize and just not do anything versus trying to give you a horror show and then try to pass that shit off as a martial art tribute. So yeah, I honestly, I feel strange. And though now the day is done, his whole day of the starting of his death has started uh, today. His um, day will be done in like three minutes. It'll be midnight. So, yeah. Okay, in one second, it'll be midnight. <laughs> now that it is officially midnight, um, I can start going back to normal. Hopefully, my feelings will be straight by tomorrow or by later today after I get some sleep and wash off the superhero skank. And, you know, it's just that, you know, when you lose somebody that you're really close with, you you act different. You feel different. You don't feel um, whole, if you would. So, I'm going to end the video with that. I just don't feel like um, going too deep into anything else. I mean, I told a story or two today about my dad, about the goldfish, about the moral lessons, about not saying goodbye about him, and I was last conversation about Snoop Dogg. Um, Instagram might have got a little bit more than you guys got. I'm trying not to cry, and it's just really, really hard when um, someone you love is no longer in your life, and when they love you unconditionally, like my dad loved me. It's kind of hard to, um, it's kind of hard to actually uh, put it into words. You know, it's kind of hard to um, summon the um, the feelings that I have aren't really explainable. I mean, I can't explain them to myself, but I can't explain them to y'all, if that makes sense. I'm going to um, try and go find a picture of my father really quickly so that I can show you guys who he was, which is probably not going to happen because we need technology and not friends. Uh, you know, whenever you really need something, technology seems to be the one thing that eludes me the most or annoys me the most. Kind of depends on how you look at it. You know, I mean, honestly, me and technology have never really been friends. But you guys have been here on Comfort Africa number two long enough to know that, yeah, I am not a technology person. It is not something that I will ever stick a claim in. No, it's not. It's not for me. I mean, it, it, when it works, it's great. And 
it rarely works for me or I can rarely get it to work the way I need it to work. So first, I'm gonna show you my car. This is my car. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that was my car that he died in. Come on, machine. Oh shit. Son of a bitch, double back on me. That there is my father. He's sitting next to my brother. I didn't know if my brother would prefer to be on my YouTube channel, but fuck it. So there you go. Now, my dad was a decent man. I hope to one day be as good of a father, or at least as good of a man as he was. Big shoes to fill. Only I took my own path, you know. My dad didn't do martial arts, I do. Um, no. Martial arts has been a big part of my life. And my dad has been a big part of my life, even though him and my mom divorced when I was a little young baby. My dad was always there. If not by any means, he was definitely there financially and in spirit. And there was never a day that he didn't call me, except for when he had lost his jobs or whatever, and he just didn't have money to do so. But, luckily... We used to have this thing called the mail and stamps and envelopes. So he used to mail me letters and shit like that. And I would return and mail him letters and shit like that. But um, I miss my dad. So every March 24th, I'm um, going to be an emotional wreck. All right? Which means I'm going to be a, a physical wreck as well. That being said, thank you guys for watching. It's comfortable having number two, BC and you. Got to dump the dehumidifier.